We thank you for this Donald Trump that you raised up. And Lord, even now we lift up a voice on his behalf that you will cause your hand to come upon his head. You will cover his ears so that he only hears what you are saying. Your hand will be on his heart so that he only feels what you want him to feel. And I pray in the name of Jesus that as his enemies had dug a pit for him, that he would fall into it, that they will fall into it themselves. We rebuke every witchcraft curse, vex, spell that has been launched against him, his wife, his children, and his enterprise. And we ask you to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Let him be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Now you pray in the Holy Ghost for Donald Trump. Though they seek to arrest President Trump, we're declaring now that you arrest the enemy. Arrest the principalities and arrest those who have sought to carry out their agenda against you and President Trump in this hour. We silence the critics. We silence those that wish to frame President Trump. We silence those that wish to lie. And we say, Congress, you stand boldly. You know, I was thinking about all of the many people with these false ministries and how they have built themselves a nice little fortune for some of them based upon lies, based upon misleading people, and most of all, using Donald Trump as their main attraction. I've noticed that with them. Some of them have just used Trump as bait in order to draw people in. And then they want to pretend like they're a Bible teacher. And then they want to teach you the word of the Lord that they think they're teaching you. And But in actuality, they're not called by God to be a teacher, preacher, or whatever they call themselves. And they're utilizing that to start up a phony ministry, phony businesses, and you name it. And they're doing this all out here, portraying like they're a believer. And in the end result is destroying many souls out here. I just was thinking about this tactic, not today, thinking about it. I said, you know what? Some of these people, because I noticed here recently, that's even in this Troy Black video, as you see here, he's talking about towards the end, he's promoting his documentary where he asked for $30,000 to make the documentary. He uh, and, and many of these others. And then, but he tries to come back and say, you know, whatever happens on the election or whatever, we're not to put our trust in a man. We're not to do this or that and all of that. See, but he's used Trump to build his little ministry up because he knows that's the one that is that gets the most views as he sticks that bait out there. And that's what a lot of them would do. They notice when they'll put out other videos that they don't get much views on them. But if they can bring up Trump, if they can be associated with Trump some kind of way. We had to go to Rush Mountain. And I do show a picture there because it has something to do with our President Donald Trump. Saints, I'm telling you, his face may not be carved there in stone, but it is carved there in the spirit. Mm, wow. It is carved there in the spirit. In such a way that that elevates them in their mind. And all they're doing is, is using people. And we are in dangerous times. Because this Trump hole, MAGA style, false brand of religion that is out there, because this is not Christianity, because these folks are truly not concerned about saving souls. They're only concerned about power and money. That's the only two things they're worried about. And some of them are doing it, as I say, for self-esteem issues, because they have grown up and whatever reason in their life, don't feel adequate enough, but they like the fact that they can get on a camera and bring attention to themselves. So some of these people need to go get some help, seriously, from a mental health therapist of some sort. And some of them need to see a psychiatrist 
because some of them are have are way out there with some of the things they teach and he talk. Also, about. not necessarily wild again, but he does love. He does like to ride the roller coasters, um, but he does love to make things still with his own hands, and he does still build things like we were just talking about. But I think um, I know Peter's fishing. <laughs> Yeah, no, Kim Robinson, who's, who's been to heaven many times. heaven, I see Peter, he is still fishing. Kim, Kim Robinson, Robert Robinson, who's been to heaven many times, has seen Jesus on a motorcycle racing with her. He wanted her to come along. Does that make sense to you that Jesus would love that as well? Yeah, I was about to add one of the things I know. But you know, this thing is dangerous of where we are right now. This tactic that the enemy is using by drawing people in into this false sense of security through Donald Trump, through people that portray as ministers and pastors or whatever, that they standing by politicians, standing by political things in this world, standing by the kingdom of this world, but not standing on God's word, not standing on the Lord, not trusting in the Lord. Their trust is in human beings that are flawed, that are unable to do anything these we are i mean what are we able to do we have no power and authority in heaven and earth but for some reason people continue to think that humans have almighty power of some sort and that we can fix this world in such a way that i guess what we're going to live in peace and harmony for for the rest of our the days I heard someone, you know, some of these prayers where they're talking about bring it back to where, you know, God was in control of the country. Was he? Wait a minute. That, I'm so sick of hearing about that. God has always been in control, but this country had nothing to do with God like they claim. As we've talked about, we can go through years of history that many of these people were trying to hide and continue to sweep under the rug so that these newer generation of people, kids and things, won't understand the history of the nation and the world and want to brush it aside so that they don't know what truly happened within America and other parts of the world. And so why they want to act holy, self-righteous and all of that and try to pretend like this is just this greatest country with God uh, uh, at the center was always at the center of some sort is a lie. It's a lie. And the devil is continuing to deceive people to think that they can ride the coattails of some human beings out here to get them across the finish line. But there's only one that got across the finish line that was in the race as Hebrew chapter 12 tells us, Jesus Christ, he's finished the race when he died on the cross. And he's waiting for us to finish ours. And the only way that we can do that is first, we have to commit our lives to him because we know that he died for us and our sins and our wicked ways and the ways that we were conducting ourselves. But he died for that. He died for everybody, whether you like it or not. And he is waiting for us as he's given us the examples of how to conduct ourselves, given us the examples of what to do as far as being able to understand what is truth, what is error, and all of that. But unfortunately, people in this brand, there's a different form of Christianity that's out there, and it's false. And unfortunately, many people has fallen for it. And we'll have to continue to shine the light on it. We'll have to continue to call it out. We'll have to continue to take the devil on and show and showcase his sneaky tactics and take him head on and punch him right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is your channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.